All right, hello everyone. It is Wednesday, June 28th. The time is 1937, New York local time. I'm sitting in a Japanese yen long. I'll tell you why. Um, uh, five minutes, so looking at our balance price ranges, um, we've formed one here in the five minute chart. There's a balance price range, 15 minute chart. This is also a balance price range. Uh, yen futures are extremely beat up to the sell side. Um, as the Bank of Japan has maintained an ultra dovish policy. Not that I really care about that, but uh, we also see that on the weekly chart we're coming down into a wick inefficiency. So, it, it, you know, do the Japanese yen futures move a whole lot during this time of the day, even when the Japanese stock exchange is about to open? Not really, but they can. Uh, of, the, of the instruments that might move during this time of the day, this is one of the likely ones, along with copper, Australian, and New Zealand. NASDAQ can also move during this time of the day. Um, what the purpose of this video is to go through some market basics, which are uh, contract and tick sizes. So uh, if you're wondering what a tick is, a tick is the smallest fluctuation that any of these futures instruments or Forex, inst forex equivalents can make. Um, if you are in trading view, uh, you can go to symbol info and it will tell you the point value and then it will tell you the tick size so all you have to do is divide the uh, you take the point value and divide it by the tick size fifty dollars a point on the ES it's twelve and a half dollars a tick the YM the smallest fluctuation that it can make here on the mini is five dollars here on the NASDAQ it is twenty dollars a point there are four ticks okay so it's five dollars a tick Russell 2000 is fifty dollars a point so it moves up you see this is can easily see here that if it says it's changed 5.2 points, that's $250 worth of change. It's $50 a point on the uh, Russell 2000, so it is $5 a tick. Some of your fut uh, Forex futures are, some of them are a little bit different. So Australian dollar futures are five dollars a tick. I believe that British pound futures are six twenty-five. Yeah, so it's six dollars and twenty-five cents a tick on the pound futures. I believe that Canadian is six dollars and twenty-five cents as well. No, it's five dollars a tick on the uh, five dollars a tick, a single fluctuation on the Canadian dollar futures. Euro is going to be uh, six. 625 as well, six dollars and 25 cents a tick. Yen futures, I believe, are also going to be 625. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's six dollars and 25 cents a tick on the yen futures. I believe that New Zealand is 625 as well. No, it's five dollars a tick on New Zealand. It is going to be six dollars and 25 cents on Swiss. Gold is ten dollars a tick. So you can see that a single, um, a a, a single tick is ten dollars on uh, gold futures. It's a hundred dollars for a single dollar. Okay. Copper futures. It is. Let's make sure that I get my math correct. It's twelve dollars and fifty cents on copper futures. Silver futures on the mini here are a big boy contract. They're twenty-five dollars a tick. It's five thousand dollars per dollar. Okay. Look here on the right side of our chart. We see that uh, if we take it from you know let's let's see our daily range here it's 22 one 
22 spot 135 came up to 22 spot 695 it's quite a bit of movement uh, it does sometimes periodically move over a point uh, over a dollar in a day it's five thousand dollars for one contract so you need to be aware if you're trading silver it's twenty five dollars a tick it's a big boy contract the CL here symbol info just left click here it is ten dollars a single fluctuation okay a dollar on crude oil is one thousand dollars regularly moves up and down multiple dollars natural gas natural gas is ten thousand uh, dollars per dollar and it is ten dollars a tick okay ten dollars a tick on natural gas now the bonds are big boy okay the bonds are big contracts um, I believe that the 10 year I think it's six dollars and twenty-five cents a tick. I'm not sure. Take a look at the ten year. $15.62, I believe, is the correct number there on the 10-year. 30-year bond, it is a very big contract. It is $31.25 a tick. Okay, so something that you need to be aware of, uh, basics of, of trading futures, is you need to be aware of your tick sizes, point values. You go on trading view, go up to the top left here on more, click more, symbol info, it will let you know. The general you know theme is that uh, the 30-year bond is a very big contract. So you th see that the 30-year bond has gone up. Let's see, this swing move here is 28 ticks. Okay. It's $875 worth of movement just right there. Okay. You can see that we look at our hourly chart on the 30-year bond. It's regularly making $1,000 moves. And that's one contract. So. 30-year bond might look pretty boring to you, but I promise you it's, it's a big boy contract. You put on one or two of these things, um, it's, it's a boom or bust cycle there. So when you're getting into trading futures, and this is a mistake that I myself have made, I have not been aware always of my contract sizes. Uh, it is a basic fundamental that you do need to be aware of. If you're on trading view, you can always just go and uh, click the three dots button over here, go over to your symbol info, it will tell you the point value and the tick size. Don't go into futures trading without knowing your contract sizes. They are different. You can see that some of the some of the forex is five dollars, some of it's six dollars and twenty-five cents. Bonds, the thirty-year bond is thirty-one dollars twenty-five cents. It's your biggest tick value. Silver futures twenty-five dollars a tick. You can see that gold is only ten dollars a tick. Silver is twenty-five. So silver is a it's a big contract. Um, ES is going to be fifty dollars a point, twelve dollars and fifty cents. Uh, a tick okay so you can generally put on more contracts if you're trading the YM it's only five dollars only five dollars uh, I believe a point Let's take a look yeah it's just it's five dollars a point okay so every time that you see that the YM has moved 66 points that's a little over it's three hundred thirty dollars so be aware of your contract sizes, uh, learn them, memorize them. That is just a basic lesson here on futures trading. Be aware of your contract sizes. Um, if our Japanese yen trade picks up here, I might make a live trade recording. Um, follow this through the Tokyo Open. Probably will do that. All right, this has been a quick lesson on futures uh, contract sizes and tick sizes. It's a fundamental that you do need to memorize and be aware of. Uh, that will help you with your risk management. Bye.